Okay, once you've opened Flash, you're going to create a new Flash file, ActionScript 3.0. And then you'll go to File, and you're going to go to Import, and you're going to import the stage. And then you need to go to the Rainbow file, which you should have been downloading from uh, Dropbox. So once you've opened that, uh, you're going to go to Modify, Bitmap, and you want to use Trace Bitmap. Make sure the color threshold is 100, the minimum area is 1, the curve is fit to pixels, and the corner threshold is many corners. Then hit OK. And then you want to click somewhere not on there so that it's no longer selected. You want to zoom in. You can hit Control Plus or go up to here and change the zoom. And if the black arrow tool is not already selected, you want to select it. You want to just select the word rainbow and only the word rainbow. So if it helps, zoom in again so you can see it more clearly. I'm going to click in the upper right hand corner of it and hold down and I'm going to get some of the uh, orange. So I'm going to stop that. And if I go down here, I get some of the gray, so that's not good. Um, you want to be very careful that you're just selecting the word rainbow and nothing else. Okay, once you have just the word rainbow, you want to go to modify and then go to convert to symbol. I'm going to name this rainbow and then my type needs to be graphic if it isn't already. So since mine's graphic, I can go ahead and click on OK. Then I want to do the same thing with the resources. So I'm going to select, click somewhere else so I'm no longer selecting rainbow. And I want to grab just resources, not rainbow at all. Again, I'll go to modify and convert to symbol. I'll name this one resources. I want to make sure it's still graphic and I'll click on OK and then I'll select somewhere else. Then I'm going to zoom out a little so I can see the whole thing. And I'm going to go to the top left of the logo and click. I'm going to drag to the bottom right so that I have the entire logo. But I don't want to select Rainbow and Resources, so I'm going to hit Shift, click on Rainbow, and click on Resources so they are not highlighted. Then I'm going to go to Modify again, and I'm going to go to Convert to Symbol, and this time I'm going to name it lines and I'm gonna hit OK. Then I'm going to grab the whole logo so I'll grab everything now and I'm gonna go to modify and I'm gonna go to timeline and distribute to layers. And I should see that I have layer 1 lines resources and rainbow down here and I wanna be at 100% so I'll hit control minus or you can change up here. Then I want to click outside of there on the gray so that nothing's selected. And then I want to right click on the word rainbow. And I want to click create motion tween. Or select, sorry. And it's at the very top. Once I've selected that, I want to click in uh, frame one, which is right here on the timeline. So my pink line should be lined up in there. And then I'm going to do that for each of the other pieces. So I'll go to Resources, right click, Create Motion Tween, go back to Frame 1. And then I'm going to right click on the lines, go to Create Motion Tween, and drag that back to Frame 1. Now I want to move the rainbow symbol to its beginning location. So I'm going to drag, click on just rainbow, and I'm going to hold down Shift. Um, and I'm going to drag it to the right so that it's off the stage. The stage is the right area, uh, the white area. And so I want it in the gray. Once I've left rainbow there, um, I want to click on uh, frame 24. And I'm going to click hold shift and click back on rainbow. just on rainbow and drag it back over to its original 
position. And that's got to be when I'm in frame 24. Then I'm going to do the same thing with resources, except it's going to go to the left. So I'll click on resources. Um, and I want to go to frame 1. Drag resources over to the left. Go down to frame 24. Grab resources again and bring it back where it started. Then I'm going to click in frame 1 of lines and I want to go to modify and transform and rotate 90 degrees clockwise. I want to do that one more time so that I've turned it 180. So I'm going to go back to modify, transform, and rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Then I'm going to go to frame 24 and I'm going to do this two more times. Modify, transform, rotate clockwise. Modify, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Then when I go back to the first frame and I hit enter, I will see my entire movie happen. And I just go back to the first one and it will do that again. And then I can hit save and I'm going to save it as my rainbow practice. And that's the introduction to Flash.